and Bin Laden, and I had a gun with one bullet in it, I'd shoot Bin Laden, I'm not a monster. But if I had two bullets, I'd shoot Tim Tebow first. <laughs> thanking your offensive line. Do you have any idea what an offensive line goes through during a game? You get pounded on, tenderised like a cheap steak for an hour. An hour! If I was an offensive lineman, and I realise that's a bit of a leap of imagination. But if I was an offensive lineman for Tim Tebow, and I heard him thank God instead of thanking me at the end of the game. I find myself lining up the following game and saying, oh, Tim, I heard your uh, press conference after the game last week. Great to hear Jesus get a shout out there. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't he fantastic for us? Wasn't God great? Especially in that fourth quarter. I, I really thought we were in trouble, but boy, did God come through for us at the end there. You just had so long in the pocket. God really did incredibly well to give you that kind of time. Let's see how Jesus blocks for you this time, shall we? <laughs> oh, oh, it seems Jesus didn't read that blitz quite as well as I did. <laughs> Let's try again, shall we, shithead? My name is Lawrence. <laughs> is as well as that joke is ever going to go down. Uh, the problem is that when you meet athletes, they can disappoint you. That's right, that's, we've, we've moved on. I, I agree with you, but we have moved on. We have to leave that in the past. I'm glad that that's going to be your abiding memory of this gig. How was John Oliver alive? He was fantastic. What did he talk about? How he wanted to kill Tim Tebow. Anything else? Nothing. I stopped listening. I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. I just want him to go away. Now, problem is, I, I lost my faith in athletes long before I became an adult. I lost my faith in athletes when I was eight years old and I was in a public bathroom 